Hello viewers, welcome to your first agricultural TV station in Nigeria. And of course the program is Aqua Farming. My name is Joshua Isha, your regular host. Aqua Farming is a program that brings you all you need to know that is in the water. Be it fish, shells, crabs, frogs, what a view. In fact, in even octopus, sometimes we make sure we bring to you all you need to know in the water. And today on the program, we'll be looking at how to add value to your fish and also preserve them to a point in which they will not lose their taste or better still they are quality and of course on that note we'll be going straight to the field we'll be talking to an expert where he's going to be expatiating what it takes to use a smoking king so you can be able to smoke and preserve your fish on how to add value to your fish people have so this tent was produced and this tent is used to dry fish with sun so once you have this you have the inlet no smoke nothing you have the inlet here you have the, you have the inlet vent here and outlet vent you have a vent there you have a vent there this is a line of these are just normal uh, uh this thing net you understand then you have racks inside so you actually just put your fish inside you put it under the sun Three, four, five days, you see your fish drying like a normal smoke tree, and the shelf life too is wonderful. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. I want to add that the new free ocean recently we also came up with a fish a drying uh, machine. It has electricity and a charcoal component. You can use any one that is available to you. You will see uh, part of it there. But this one has advantage of electricity and charcoal. We are able to come with you put your fish to prevent all these other things. You just zip it down. It protects it. All the heat is stored inside here. And it continues to dry your fish in a healthy manner. And all this, your fish with ice inside this place, you can be rest assured that 5, 10, 15 days, it is still well stored. Yes. The ratio of ice to fish is one to one. That's why it's this. No, no, in fact, as of, of blessed memory, one of our students used this one to transport fish to Thailand because he was doing a PhD program. They needed to catch fish and then they didn't have. So he came back to Nibuka. Engineering Store Product Research Institute. The first one is a uh, Hello. We discover that the moment you, the moment you are first your fish is out of water, fish starts to deteriorate unless you keep it under the condition that will maintain the quality of the fish. And one of the best way to do that is to refrigerate the fish. But you cannot take your your freezer, your fridge to the farm. Where will you get the power? So that is why we came up with this idea with the support of a uh, WAP and we are able to get uh, from the community. Yes. So, uh, yes. A great research uh, can show you know that is our supervising uh, agent research. At the first phase, we were able to develop something made of uh, aluminium, lead, and the rest. So later we improved because we thought of uh, availability of the material. So we went for plastic of two different sizes. One smaller one, the other one bigger. You have the bigger one outside, the smaller one inside. And in between was properly insulated with polyurethane. It's a very good insulation material. So and we cover it and it did what we wanted to do. But we now discovered that if you want people to appreciate this thing, you need to commercialize it. And that was the reason why we went to this extent. So we partner with a plastic uh, uh, a manufacturing company, which is a, where you are taking it to and your target. You can make it ratio one to one, you can make it uh, one to two, one to three, one to which is one to two, meaning that you have one kg of ice, you have two kg of fish, like that. So that is the way it is. And it has a drain because you imagine that when the when the fish, when the ice starts to melt, it will definitely bring water. So, and if you leave the water in the in the box, 
the fish will take the water and they will get swelling up. And that is why you have this drain. So periodically you open this, the water goes out, then you close it. The way you can see them on top. Then here we have fish. How fresh the fish is. Fresh. So that is to show. And if you look at part of what I mentioned yesterday that you used to know whether the fish is good or not, you can see the eyes that is still very radiant. Hmm? See. So that is a sign to show that the quality is still intact. So that is that with respect to ice fish box. Now, you know there is limitation to the level uh, at which you can store your fresh fish. And that is the need for value addition. By the time you add value, it makes the product more stable. It will bring additional economic income for the processor or the farmer that is involved. And at the same time, you will make it available where fish is not being produced. So, and that is why we have the spray fish smoking thing. The ice fish box I said the other time, there is a patent for it. And this body to produce this, he must consult us. We cannot just go ahead and work on the design, otherwise we can see. Though ours is not to own it, we are ready to release it for anybody that is willing to fabricate for people, but at least there must be an agreement between the two of us. And you must acknowledge that this is our design, this is our smoking thing. Now, go back to the story. When you look at it, I said there is need to add value to it, and you discover that this thing started long ago. There is the traditional method of smoking. But the problem I will start with that is that by the time they are done with the fish, what you get is what the Yoruba call black fish, which is a dadudu. Whereas originally the fish was not black. But because of the process, the thing went through too much of smoke, too much of heat. By the time you are done with the smoking, the fish will turn to black. And it's not just color, but it contains what we refer to as polyaromatic hydrocarbon content, which is carcinogenic in nature. So the cumulative effect of that has a lot of issue on our heads. And that is why we say you see fish by the roadside. Yes, it's very cheap. Uh, they are selling it. It's cheaper than what uh, they package in uh, the of smoke with things like this. No, you should think of your head because by the time you accumulate it, you won't like it. You spend a lot in maintaining your head. So now, the smoking cane, you can see we have arrangement of basically we have the, the smoking chamber, we have arrangement of trees and the racks. Then we have uh, the hoy collectors. We discover that some smoking cane, when you see them, their source of heat is directly positioned under the trays where you have the fish. The implication of this is that when the fish is being dry, the oil and water from the fish will drop on the fire. And this will bring additional smoke. But if care, if care is not taken, it can even bring flame. And if somebody is not there to rescue the system, the whole fish can get burned, including the facility we are using. So that is why our own combustion chamber is recessed at the back. It's not under the arrangement of the fish. Then now, we now discover that the oil fish should not be wasted because of the nutrients it contains and because of the application in pharmaceutical company. That is why we now make provision for oil collection mechanism. That is why we have this tree. So now, the oil and water from the fish, instead of dropping on the fire, it will drop on the tree. Because the tree is hot, the water will dry, why the oil will flow down to a corner there where we have where we have a pipe connected and from this bring it and from the, the, the fish that we dried uh, yesterday up to this morning this is what we are able to collect from the fish it's not hot you know? if, if the thing is hot it's because of the sun not because of the yes so if you happen to have a fish that contains a lot of fat you may have something close to this bottle by the time you are don't smoke it. So, and this is additional income for whoever adopt the smoking cane. Instead of just wasting it and adding, adding more economic value to your to your product. And when you get to the to the to the back, before we go to that, yesterday when we brought the facility, it was in pieces. If not because it was in pieces, we came from a lone quarter state with these two, with a uh, healers. So, are you telling me? Illos can contain the two now? No. But because it was in, in panels, in pieces, 
were able to bring the two, even with the, uh, the high speed uh, boxes yesterday, the day before yesterday. And when we got here yesterday, we assembled everything using both and not, and it is really good. And if you want to move it away from this place, now, all you just need, just remove the both and not, then you transport it. At the same time, it is not fixed. You can move it because it has wheel. You can move and you can see that. And you can even put it in your, if you have a, a three bedroom apartment and you are not using everything, you can just, only probably in your kitchen, if it is uh, wide enough, you just put it there, you smoke your fish and you are good to go. And uh, as the, the fish is there, uh, the chapo is burning, there is facility for collection of the ash at the back there. So we have this and we have, this is powered with chapo. We have another one that can be powered with uh, gas and the third one that can be powered with uh, electricity. Careful, no? It's hot, okay. So that is the smoking can. And we are then in different capacities. This is 100 kg. We have the bigger capacity. And we equally have the ones that are not as big as mix. And when you touch it, you know that it's mixed material there. And the product of the smoking can is over there. So the third one is not here. The packaging material, the composite packaging material. Yeah, this is yes, taken out of it. Somebody, somebody confirmed that it's ready for the operation of steel. You see the way the person works, and I bet you, you know that. It's something that. This is the fish. When you look at it, there is no way you use the thing, you maintain this color. No way. Everything will be black. So, this is the product of the smoking can. You can see it. So, and yesterday we decided, we decided to spice some. So, we still clean it up just to make sure at least we had something to eat. But you can see how neat the fish Yes. So, that is what we have. And uh, when, after you have done this, if it is not properly packaged, you may discover that you will lose the product back because it will absorb most of it. And that is one of the reasons why we come up with this. We call this one com uh, composite packaging material. I mentioned this yesterday. We produced this one from uh, paper, brown paper, which is opaque, and polythene, which has tendency to keep water and air away. So you pack your fish here, then you seal. You are good to go. And this is branded, customized for this program. You can see dry fish. The technology so far developed in uh, Nifri. Ma, please we have face the camera, man. Face the camera, man. Face the camera. Fry feeds. That the feed you could give to the baby after absorbing the yolk sac. You could prepare it in a through formulation. The technique of formulation we look we look at yesterday briefly, actually. So we also have for fingerless, we have for juvenile, we have for grow out. We have for table size, that you will want to use to grow your juvenile to table size. And also, we have for specific, uh, for book stock, book stock of uh, clarias, the book stock of heterobranchos, the feed, you can feed them so that you can have good egg at your hatching, you have good hatching, survival of your hatching will be, well, uh, will be good, not just feeding any half feed. So all these are available in NIFRI. Fit technology so far developed. And we have piloting uh, machines to produce either of them. Are, we also have a shooter, a shooter machine to produce for those who need a student feed. The extruder is to actually make floating feeds. But if you don't have money, like I said yesterday, it does not stop you from producing cat feet on their natural soil. How God created them, they are bent eaters. They feed at the bottom of the tank. But man now wants to see that actually my feet is my fish is eating. That is what brought about the idea of using floating feet to feed the fish so they now struggle to come up. You see them jumping to eat the feed that you're actually providing. But whether sinking or floating, once your formulation is good enough, it meets the, the requirement of the fish, your feet grow very well. The type has no meaning as far as quality is concerned.
because if it can be floating, but the quality is very bad. Yet, you feed your fish for months and you won't see any good performance. So, you could formulate your fish, fish feed by yourself and know what you are feeding to your fish, you must get results. That is the truth of the matter, and I wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. My name is uh, Dr. Landu Ebenezer Jibri. I'm uh, from National Institute for Freshwater Fishery Research. I'm in the Department of uh, Social Accounts and Extension. And uh, we are here in this uh, program to showcase some of our research uh, work. Uh, it's not an ongoing research, it's a proven and it's research that has uh, been in places. Now this is a fish retail table. Now we have discovered that a lot of people, when they go to the market, when they are selling fish, flies are flying everywhere, hands are touching it. By so doing, a lot of people transfer diseases, unhealthy, hygienic way of uh, selling fish. So we now came up with this very simple, hygienic fish retail table. Now this is a net that covers it to prevent flies from perching on your fish. This is the door which the seller is the only one that have access to it. So any seller wants, any buyer who wants to buy the fish, he will look at it through the net. The net is transparent. You can see what is inside. You will point at what you want to buy. The seller whose hand is hygienic, of course, with their gloves, you open this, this compartment, pick up the fish, wrap it up and give it to you. So if another seller comes, you are sure that you are selling a very hygienic, safe fish for people. So we call this one a fish retail table. Look at it, it's very light, it's dismantleable. You can just join it, you can buy it, you, you can you can you can be using it in the market. So in fact there was one time that Niger State adopted it, but you know, is they stopped it again. But there was a time the Niger State government, especially in Nubusa, adopted that fish sellers should be using this because they have seen that it is something that is good, laudable, and also cheap. Now we call Nifri Solar Tent Dryer. Now it's a solar tent dryer because you use natural sunlight, solar, to dry your fish. This is just a nylon, normal, normal nylon, but thick one. Then these are just the same light frame that you can just produce. What you do is it has rack inside. These are the racks that you use to where you can put your fish on top of it. So they have three racks. It's actually a, also a proven research work of more than 10 to 15 years. In fact, a, one of our researchers got his PhD from this research work. But what he does is you have sun available in Nigeria. So you put your fish here. It has a vent, two vent, out vent and inlet. Air enters into this place and goes out into this place. So that when you conserve or you make heat, you put this helps you to keep the heat from the sun inside this this facility. So as it helps you now, it also prevent uh, flies from perching it because once flies start perching to you, what they do is they introduce what bacteria. So the heat that is contained in this thing is what dries your fish gradually, gradually. As a matter of fact, sometimes, in fact, many times we have used this to dry fish and it is like stockfish. That that dry. But the only thing is just that it depends on sunlight. If there are no sunlight. Of course, it takes longer for your fish to dry. But this is a proven research that has worked, has been used, has been demonstrated, and farmers who know it have come to buy it. So it's not something that is new. It's something that has been in existence, and we keep improving on it, and it is here for people to come and buy. It is cheap, and you can use it. You can just put it at the back of your house. It is there, safe. Product from the from uh, the fish uh, uh, engineering and production department of National Institute of Freshwater Fisheries. Sir, is a cooling box. We have noticed that most times when farmers, fish farmers, go on top of natural water, when they fish, before they bring their fish from the wild to the shore, 
there's a lot of decomposition that takes place when the fish starts start spoiling. Because once fish starts dying, the composition starts immediately. So we now came up with an idea to say, come, many of them may not be able to buy a cooling box that is expensive. Why don't you do something that will be cheap, you can carry it, and it is safe. And that is what brought about this. This is a cooling box, you can see the inside. It has an exit. It has, it is, you can see it is this light. So you can put it inside your boat with highs stored inside it. Once you catch your fish, you put it inside this place and you can be rest assured that once there is ice inside, the fish is fresh. It remains fresh. Now the technology behind this is just that let's reduce the atmospheric heat that that we that we that we that we that we affect the fish and make it uh, and, and maybe spoil it so that's why it is concerned when it's concerned you're able to prevent heat from outside you're able to prevent flies and you are keeping it warm you are, I mean, you are keeping it cold with the ice inside and it is cheap so you can put this four five six seven inside your boat you put ice inside you put it when it comes out it comes out fresh you sell it out to opticals you are selling hygienic fresh fish so no matter how you stay even if it is five days ten days as long as you don't open it more often for the ice to melt it keeps it very very so you can just carry it you can just carry it look at this it's so light you understand but what it does is lighter is heavier than what what <laughs> the, the weight of the of the cooling box so this this is also a proven research which is available in national institute for freshwater fishery research Niger State Nebusa I'm sure you've enjoyed this episode of the program and I'm sure you know what to do to add value to your fish, most especially those of you who go to get the fish and don't know what to do with them because you don't have those products to preserve them.
On that note, a very big thanks for all of you who have been a part of the program. My name is Joshua Ishaya. Thanking you for being a part of it. Bye for now.